can't even read. I need my glasses. Okay, let's go to the Q&A. Um, NWR Doc asks, do you like customizing your trains? Yes. Diesel is here as ask, what is your most popular custom? Timothy the Ghost Engine. Ben Benson Studios, what is your favorite engine you've restored? All. Uh, the Adventures in England, what do you use to make your snowplow and where can I find them? I spent $277 to do the research and I do not recommend you to try it. Uh, Alexis Mendoza, fix and restore it, there, that's not a question. Bombleminster is restoring the models as easy as it looks? Yes. Gary the Turtle Productions. Dogs of the Reboot. Garbage. Do you like wooden railway? Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how hard is to fix the model engines? Uh, for me, 2. Fix uh, Thomas Fan 01. Firstly, I hope your family are, are doing and safe. Thanks for that. And second, I really like to see a custom flying Scotsman. Uh, near future. Iru Rach. How's your family doing? Uh, doing great. Thanks for asking. Scarloin number one what's the hardest but most rewarding custom you have made i think it's the timothy the ghost engine because i've been i sold uh during the last two years over 1300 i think uh king class productions how long does it take to usually customize an engine um uh, i think it can take you one hour to eight hours uh it depends on the model thomas tanker 02 how is your day i'm doing great thanks for asking what this what was the hardest engine to restore hmm. uh, i don't recall still was ryan what made you start collecting thomas and friends merchandise i do not collect i used to buy and sell on ebay since eight years ago but i no longer sell on ebay i sell on my facebook page wilhelm clink excuse me uh, you can ask anything char 6432 how long on average do you spend on a single train restore uh, probably two hours or maybe less Farhad Kalashi who was the best custom track master you've made I think all do you like Plurail or Tommy uh, it, for me it doesn't matter it's just a merchandise I used to buy and sell sorry about that uh, which customs are you planning to make I have a long list um, Matthew Monroe why you Will you make Trackmaster version of some modern railways items? Uh, not at the moment. Steady Eddie, will you expand into restoring other brands and of the merchandise like take and play, wooden railway minis, etc.? Uh, no. Joseph Kipka, do you sell or have any more Thomas Wooden Railway custom stickers besides Timothy the Ghost Engine? Uh, at the moment, no. Ronnie Shirley, third, have you ever considered trying to recreate railway series characters like? I bought you, Bill, Spam, Can, Wilbur, maybe later. LB and SCRE2, how long does it take to make sticker for your customs and restore train? If I have the template, it take me like uh, five minutes. If I have to redesign the stickers, can take me maybe uh, two to three hours because it's the whole set. Thank you, yo. Why you start this custom YouTube? um that's a good question and i'm gonna answer i started because of the pandemic there i saw that was a need uh that i need to do something for all the kids around the world to spend some time and focus on doing something because on the lockdown um you know what what's like to be and with this uh, channel you can spend some time and have some ideas and fix your models or restore or try to do something alexander kindlai kindlai what will be the next custom engine you're made i have no idea i have a lot party up to 10 productions is there any trial and error when you make any customs when i begin to customize a model engine i don't really care i just I have it on my mind and I know how it's going to come out. I find a way to make it work. Mixed Traffic Productions. Can you motorize a diecast Disney cars? <laughs> no reason for that. Sorry about that. No. Uh, Neptune 6. How did you get into track Thomas and Friends franchise? I used to buy a lot of models for my oldest son and, and I bought a box full of models for $50 at a yard sale. And when I got it home, he didn't care. I mean, he saw a lot and so he did not care. So uh, at the end, I had to sell them because no, he didn't want it. And I find out that there was a lot of um, money selling those uh, um, toys. So that's how I started. Miguel Silva, please make all shape Henry. Sasha and Mel Production 
2010. Will you do a Thomas series? Uh, probably. Well, that's it for today's Q&A, and I got to do... Um, I have to do something about this wall right here, and I got to go to the post office. I got to mail this package. Take a look at these crazy clouds. Thank you for stopping, can I help you? Can I have three six-piece nugget happy meals with extra fries? And ketchup? Yep, and go. And two cheeseburgers, only ketchup. All right, is everything on your screen look correct? Yep. 14.35 with the first one though. Here's the new spray paint and I will try to use this other brand, I don't know if this is good or no. I think that looks good. I will try to put another one and another one because I have no room for this mess. Okay, uh, Zach from Whitaker, Pennsylvania I think. And I think it's a fix or restore, let's see. Read me. Uh, dear Customs, thank you for allowing people to ship broken toys to be fixed. Oh, look at that. It does have a face. Rocky. Bash. Salty. Stepney. Bullstrap. Rosie. Coach. Motor died. Needs replaced. Bash. Motor died. Lost securing screw. Rocky. Rope Cham Something with the rope And salty Loud motor Please replace I think it's a gear I'll show you later Stapney Motor box built improperly Okay Rosy Dirty stickers Yeah I get you I think that's the design The way it is But I'll get you new ones um, bolster lost dirty stickers um, please also touch up point as see fit small chips into total repayment pay per me okay got it <laughs>